these habits. You know, Howard, you mentioned it, you know, back in the, in the locker rooms that I grew up in, you know, um, gay jokes and, and using gay slang as an insult for someone was very commonplace. You know, now you say things like the F word, you, you don't say certain words anymore because we've evolved. Um, but the evolution part of this is when you're around people that you're close with, you have to have the courage to say, I can't, dude, you can't say that anymore. Please don't say that. You, you know, I, I know it, it was funny last year. I mean, kind of, you know, it was a little uncomfortable, but dude, you just, please, you can't say that anymore. Um, you can't think like that anymore. You, you just, I, I think that's part of the evolution is, is what, where you guys started a lot earlier, which was we got to learn from everybody. We got to have these conversations. You know, I, I admitted a few weeks ago, I felt like a schmuck. I didn't know a guy got fired for saying all lives matter. I went, wait, that's, that's really offensive. And, and I've learned since how it, it's accepted, how, how if you say all lives matter, you're taking away from Black Lives Matter. And I, it never occurred to me, I got fired for saying that. And so we have to learn. We got to, and Howard, you're giggling. I don't know. Maybe you know more to the story, but we got to learn what's the right thing to say. What offends people? Let, let me treat people with more respect and, and more compassion than ever before um, so that we can evolve. Yeah. That's one thing that's important is learning about that. And you can't involve, like you can't evolve. What, what is, what is offensive to someone? And I, I see right now there's um, this other debate about all these Confederate statues and should, do they need to come down? Should they come down? Is it offensive? And people I've seen on the news, people saying, well, I don't understand how this could be offensive. This is, you know, my history and this is it. But well, if someone tells you it's offensive, this is where the, the shut up and listen is important. Like, well, that's a, that's a Confederate hero that was fighting to keep slaves, that was fighting to keep the institution of slavery alive um, that never should have happened in the first place. But once it did, they're fighting so hard to have that happen. And so, yeah, that could be offensive to me. That could be offensive to Howard. That could be offensive to anyone. And if we are telling you it's offensive, then you need to listen. You need to understand that, like, okay, we can take this down and we can, we can put up some, some piece of art, something else that isn't offensive to a, a decent part of the population and not be so um, sort of set in our ways that this is important to me just because it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's been here for a long time. Just because something's been around for a long time doesn't make it right. Just because the, these ways that are in locker rooms that, you know, I grew up same thing, like in, in the locker room, you know, gay jokes are, 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 were, were very popular. Just because that's happened for years past doesn't mean it's okay. So at some point we have to change those. And, and the way to do that is to listen to the people that it's offending. And if it's offending someone, then, okay, let me, let me learn why it's offensive to you. And then let me change my thought, not just change my, the way that I'm saying it, not just now take it into a corner and say it with, with, with other friends, but actually change my mind about what's happening. Because I know you said like, you need to change the way we talk. Well, yeah, we need to change the way we talk, but behind that, we need to change the way we think. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't keep thinking this and then just not saying it because you're always going to find that small, like like Howard was saying, the that small population of racists, that small population, whether they're loud or whether they're quiet. Um, we need to make that smaller and smaller and smaller, and not think that it's okay because we have some people that are like-minded. Because there's going to be some people that are like-minded in any situation you're in, whether they're bigots, whether they're racist, whether they're xenophobic, whether they're misogynistic, whatever they are there's going to be a small population that are, and we just need to, to change our thought process and make sure that we're not at all associating with that kind of hatred.